Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of the Pirate Republic. Let's talk about those mistakes. Luckily, there were only, I think, two of those. First of all, um, if there is ever a treasure fleet on a treasure route, you don't get to spawn any new one. The rules are not entirely clear on those. Maybe it's just me. But luckily, Captain Thomas watching over me and made me aware, no, that's not gonna happen. So I will simply shuffle those treasure tokens back in. And overall, I was also wondering if that shouldn't be too many of those ships on one single route. The next thing on my list is the dummy player. Of course, if you add a card to his deck, you add it to his deck and not to his discard. But I think it really didn't change. A lot of things but yeah just to let you know apart from that i think i'm doing okay i'm not playing this game very clever or in a clever way but i'm just learning this game and again tom is really great when it comes to providing some strategic tips and yeah reminding me of some rules and things i can do really appreciate it and yeah let's get started and again, we start with a dummy player. He will draw his hand of cards or four again. It doesn't really matter which card he draws. Let's roll the tidings die. That's one. We are only discarding one card. That's a good start, I think. And then, yeah, over to us. Here are our cards. Our hand size is not yet increased. We have to level up to level three. Then we get a hand size of five. So for now, we have to live with what we have, those four cards, but of course, we still have to roll our tidings die. That's a plus two, that's a good roll because it simply means we get five movement points this turn. Right now we are in Nassau and as I want to show you as much of the game as I can, at least using the solo routes, I definitely want to go for a mission. So I want to spend one of my three reputation tokens. And therefore I get to draw two of those Captain Missions cards and I can keep one or two of those. So let's see what we got. And here we have White Sails Red Blood. Establish a pirate haven on Pensacola. Don't let your enemies raise it to the ground. If this pirate haven is raised, you take a bloodshed token. We have basically two rewards. We can choose to get an immediate reward, but then we would lose the end of game reward. Or we could wait for the end of game reward. So really depending, in this case it's one or two swagger. There are way more powerful missions in that deck. But this is really something we can do relatively easily. Base, or creating a pirate haven costs us one reputation token, so not really a big deal. So yeah, why not? But let's have a look at the other card. X marks the spot. Scout a treasure fleet. Oh, that's bad. Right now we don't have any unscouted treasure ma uh, fleets on the map. Ooh, that's tough. For the silver route, we immediately gain one swagger or two swagger or two or four swagger. And right now we have two ships on the golden route. Are you kidding me? That's really not great, to be honest. Right now, we really have to sail somewhere else in order to spawn a new treasure fleet. And huh, maybe we can combine both missions because Pensacola is up here next or in Florida. And it's next to a silver route. And there is basically the new report where we could build our pirate haven. And yeah, if we would go there and roll the right the result, we could be able to spawn a treasure fleet token on that route. Okay, that's really something to think about. But on the other hand, every card that you still haven't um, completed by the end of the game will cost you the immediate effect of, or immediate reward of that card. So if I would not be able to make it here, then we would lose one swagger. He would go for one or two swagger. In this case, I'm not quite sure. In theory, I would be play it as punishing as possible so I would go for the higher result here but overall those are maybe three victory points of one standard merchant out there so I think let's go for both of those yeah why not and maybe when this playthrough is over I will show you two or three more of the other missions that are available in this relatively large deck the problem with my quest is there aren't any ship tokens next to it which is really disappointing to be honest all the fun is down here in the south all the way there to the east so maybe i will not go there immediately maybe i will really want to sail south first maybe try to find or scout a treasure ship down there and then later on move up to pensacola or yeah fort barrancas and build a pirate haven there we still have two full rounds in order to achieve both of those goals so i think 
right now we don't need to worry too much about this one so yeah i think let's let's move down and down here next to santiago there's this tasty merchant waiting for us not easy to deal with so we need five plus five but the rewards are awesome so those are four swagger or a crew card and crew cards are really great and i really want to show you a crew card but on the other hand i also want to get the swagger the victory points here oh man that's so tempting but on the other hand if he goes first then i may have a problem it's totally fine to attack this guy and whatever doing one of those so i can defend and i can also attack this guy but unfortunately with my hand I guess I cannot do both. So everything goes down on how good or bad I'm rolling. But I think let's go for it anyway. Let's spend one, two movement points to sail out of Nassau into Santiago area. Here we have to fight this merchant. And yeah, first things first, we have to roll the initiative die, of course. So let's see what we get. It's a hit. Awesome. Okay, that's a done deal. So let's generate our points. We need 10 combat points of so five long range, five close quarters. And I guess I will play this one here. So that's five, two plus three. Then we have four plus five plus we generate one reputation token, which is always nice. And then I think I will also play the not so pirates for So those are three plus two, that's five. Here are five, awesome job this it costs us three cards but we were able to defeat this merchant here i have to make a choice of course i will not go for the reputation i still have three of those i should be good pirate cards are cool but getting four swagger may be more important because it brings us much closer to 20 swagger which we need in order to upgrade to level three and then we would also gain a pirate card and our hand size would increase so i think in this case yeah let's go for it we take the one two three four swagger so we are at 15 not too bad keep in mind my unofficial goal is to make it somewhere here to swap all lieutenant not even dreaming about the sailing master but getting close to lieutenant would be pretty cool already but for now, let's place the merchant token on our enemy stack here. Two more and we would spawn a new naval ship, which ah, is okay, I guess. I still have three more movement points. I think I want to spend one of those in order to scout. And of course, the idea is to scout Santiago here. So let's draw a token. Maybe we draw something good. That is something good. Something very, very good. Awesome. That's definitely an easy village to be honest wow four four or three the rewards are not great but i could place my second token and keep in mind placing my second token would allow me to grow my fleet so i would be allowed to draw pretty much a ship token which i can use during combat for example so that's really really great unfortunately i'm down to only one card but this card would allow me to draw two cards or one card depending on if i want to spend a reputation point or not but on the other hand i'm still doing okay time was he just discarded one card so i think why should i hurry no let's spend the remaining two movement points to move down here into maraca Ebo, yeah let's do that so one two movement points originally i was thinking to moving into one of those neutral ports here but on the other hand i said i can only roll the let's say treasure die here if i'm on sea so my idea is to find a new treasure fleet and now i'm next to a silver fleet here and if i would be able to find it i would be able to move in scout it and yeah score one more sma swagger so yeah i think that's it let's call it around or a turn Let's draw up to four cards. It's a rest card, allows me to draw a card. I should not forget that. I think this is also something that Tom made me aware of. And here we have one of our elite pirate cards. That's great. Okay, with this, we should be really able to yeah, sack one of those ports. Awesome job. Let's start the next turn. Drawing a new card for the dummy player. He will roll the die accordingly. That's the treasure fleet. I think in this case, he's not discarding any cards. I wanted to roll that die. And, but yeah, it definitely buys us some time, which is not a bad thing. And then yeah, back to us. We have to roll the tidings die and we are lucky. <laughs> are you kidding me? Wow, that's so cool. How many of those results are there? I think it's really just one. Wow, two times a six pretty much in a row. Not sure what's going on here. But yeah, this would let me place one 
treasure fleet on this starting location here down by next to Cartagena. Of course, right now it's still face down, but I will not complain about this. Of course, now we would have to move in here. We don't know what's behind this token. It could be a pirate, it could be a naval ship, or it could be a merchant, it could be a strong merchant. But yeah, I think we would have to find out. We will start the turn with three movement points. So yeah, let's spin, simply spend our first movement point to move into here. First thing to do, we have to flip this token and it's a merchant and in this case it's i would say an average merchant which is calling for four long range or four close quarters and could provide us three swagger and on top of this we are able to scout this ship of course it's again a 16 plus a 14 I really need to take one of those ships down. But this also means we have successfully scouted this treasure fleet. So I can cash in my cart here, my mission. I'm on the, at a silver route, so, and I think I will go for the one swagger immediately because, yeah, again, we want to be closer to level three in the end. So let's cash it in which gives us one more swagger, but then we have to fight this merchant here. So let's roll the initiative die. That's a miss. Okay, nothing I can do about it. Or do I have a reroll? Let me check my cards real quick. No, I don't. No, I don't. I have to live with it. I think a really bad glare on this side and those cards are reflecting like crazy. And yeah, I have to come up with five long range defense in order not to go down. Of course, I still could decide um, to take one hit. So I have to produce more than half or at least half of the defense. And I would only take one bloodshed token and then I'm OK. I can still rest later on, for example. But do I really want to do that or do I want to spend this card in order to draw a card before we make our decision. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's spend this card. Let's draw a new card for that. And I think that's good now. That's really good. I could now really bat and say, let's roll and hope for a hit this time. Oh, I have now two more long range, which could really help me. Yeah, I think this could work out, but it's really, wow, I have to spend cards like crazy. Okay, I will spend one reputation here in order to generate three long range here. I have to defend and I will also play this card. So this brings me the five defense I need for long range. Let's go for it. So defense was successful. Awesome job. Now I need to produce either four or five more um, for a close quarters or five long range in order to take them out. And I think I'm out of, yeah, I think I have to spend yet another reputation token. So here I have two and here I have three. So in total that's five. So not enough to um, go for close quarters in this case, unfortunately. So I spend two reputation tokens and five cards in total in order to take out that merch because of one lousy die roll but yeah i will take it anyway so those are five points worth of long range in attack now but this defeated this guy here which is pretty cool so and of course i will totally go for the swagger in this case unfortunately it's not enough to level up yet so one two three points so one point short and here we are at one two three four five tokens already but yeah i think that's still that's still kind of okay and huh i still have two more movement points now but i'm totally out of cards so maybe i want to prepare moving back up to santiago and yeah try to sack this port in my next turn or so and i also want to move closer to pensacola i really want to build that pirate haven up there so yeah let's do it one two movement points into santiago and then I would call it a turn. Here are our four cards for the next round. Unfortunately, one swagger short, and then we would have been allowed to draw a fifth card, which could have been helpful. And yeah, but I think that's it for the turn. Let's move over to the dummy player. He does not draw any cards, but he still needs to roll. That's three cards in this case. And now he's really, yeah, taking up speed beat and yeah but he still has a lot of cards in his stack and yeah then it's back to us really curious what is 
backs us. That's a plus three again. Wow, that's six movement points. That's really, really awesome. And so far we didn't roll any of those minus ones here because in solo play, this really means you trigger the next chaos card automatically. Sometimes it's really an opportunity. I think this is what we've seen when we started this place, but sometimes there are also some challenges, of course. But yeah, would really love to see one or two more of those cards. So let's see. And our plan for this turn, or the main plan for this turn, is to sack Santiago here. So first of all, we have to roll the initiative type again. This is a miss. Oh, and a miss. Four plus. Unfortunately, again, they go to hit first, either with long range, close quarters, but not with strike fear. They will always go for the highest one if there is a tie. I get to choose. Again, I could choose to play this card and power it up with an reputation token to reroll my initiative die but it's still a long shot and i should be able to do it anyway i need to come up with two or four close quarters or four long range i think in this case let's play those two cards so i will play the advanced effect i will go for the latter one here so those are four points worth of close quarters so i defended successfully and then i will simply play those two or those two cards here so that's a plus two long range a plus two long range here four that's all we needed to sack Santiago here. Of course, I had to move in. I had to spend one movement point to move in. I, I simply forgot that, so sorry for that. But I'm doing this right now. But yeah, anyway, Santiago is sacked. Therefore, we gain one reputation token back. This is really, really, really important. And on top of this, we gain two more swagger. So we made it into level three. So I think right now we are officially land lovers. How cool is that? A lot of things are happening. So we are placing one of our pirate tokens here to Santiago. So we sacked it. So I think I can now use it to rest there, for example, which is always nice. And of course we have to put this land token Next to the pile here, those are two now, which means we have to spawn our first pirate hunter. Dum dum dum! Of course, we do that by drawing our next territory card, and this is Pensacola. Man, we want to go there. Are you serious? Okay, we have to spawn it. I think it goes there face down, if I'm not mistaken. So that's here. We really don't want to move there, to be honest. Those guys are really, really strong. And as soon as I roll a white lookout or a red lookout, you will see that. But as we now have two of our tokens on the map, we are allowed to draw one of those ship tokens here. If it is an able ship, we have to put it back. Everything else we get to keep. And guess what? Here we found a pirate. How thematic is that? Awesome. We can all use it as a standard card so we can use it to generate two long range or five close quarters if we use it to attack we get to keep it so it will be activated and then we get it back at the start of the next round if we use it for defense though this guy would be removed from the game entirely but still that's very strong five or two wow that's really 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 a strong token and yeah, i think it can really help us defeating one of those treasure fleets Awesome. But as we just leveled into level three, we are also allowed to draw our first group card. And yeah, our hand size also just got increased. Unfortunately, we only have two more cards in our deck, so this will not help us this round, but definitely for the next round. But I'm really curious to see our first crew card. So let's see what we got. The X Royal Navy. Wow, okay, plus two, plus two, plus strike field, plus one movement point. Wow, this guy is a beast, not bad. Those guys work pretty much like those tokens I just showed you. So I, when I use it for attack, it gets activated and then I get it back to my hand. This is basically one of the things you have to keep in mind. So they kind of clock up your hand, but they are pretty good cards. Again, if you're using those for defense, then they're removed from the game. So they're sacrificing themselves for the group. But for now, I will take it anyway. So I will put it on top of my draw deck now, but unfortunately it's Still not enough to whatever bring us to five cards we are able to draw. So I think we will be out of cards much sooner than the dummy player in this case. And I'm pretty sure I'm not playing this game ideally, but I enjoy it a big deal. We still have five more movement points. I think I want to spend huh, only 
Oh, where should I go? No, I will spend only three, I guess. One, two, and three. And I think I want to move to Cayman Islands here. One, two, and three. Heard it was a lovely place. And now I'm kind of safe from this red lookout die, for example. So yeah, I'm, ch I'm a chicken, I know, but I have only three more cards. Of course, I have this token. So in theory, I could try to survive. But on the other hand, why should I do that and those are the remaining three cards for the round of course i knew i still had this rest card in my deck i really hate this to be honest but i must not forget i also have this pirate ship um sailing with me so i think i should definitely be able to do at least one more race or maybe try to take on one of those merchants or pirates so i think i should be able to make some more victory points or swagger the i think do it for my last turn here of course, we have to place a crew card into the dummy player's stack. Then we can draw four cards. What did he get? A quartermaster. Wow, that's cool. He could generate one reputation per round. That's not bad at all. Then let's roll the tidings die. That's a three. So again, he's discarding three of those cards, but he still has cards like crazy so I want to roll the die again a plus three how cool is that again i can really move fast now but i think for now i want to move here to old providence to see what's behind that token here um yeah i have to take a risk here. we are just at 21 swagger and yeah we are nowhere close getting a meaningful result or so so yeah let's spend one two movement points moving into old providence let's flip this token and of course here we got another naval ship i think that's a spanish ship and either way this is going to hurt wow if he would attack first he would generate nine long range and then i'm out i think there's no chance i would be able to generate nine long range but yeah so far we were lucky let's see <laughs> what the initiative die would bring us it's a miss again the plus four or four plus miss so yeah this ship is attacking first with the nine so we can huh i think we can choose to flee now which means we have to roll that die again. If we would attack first and I would chose to flee, I would flee automatically, which is good. But in this case, as I have to defend first, I have to roll this die again and I have to roll any hit. And I think this also counts as a hit, to be honest. And if I hit now, I get a free movement and would be allowed to move away. So let's hope for the best. Yes, that's good. Again, this doesn't cost us a movement point at all. And where do we want to retreat to? I think we want to move into Port Royal for now. It doesn't matter. No, let's move into Port Royal. This ship stays where it is. Yeah, this was really, really unfortunate. If I would have been successful, I'm pretty sure I would have been able to take it out with my additional pirate ship, but defending and then attacking, that's definitely no bueno. But I really want to attack something. So I might consider going here to this hidden one or this hidden one, not quite sure. I could also move up there to those two here. This is kind of okay, but here I would lose one reputation token. And I think this is definitely not something I want to do. This merchant up there is okay for two swagger, but then we may be too far away from the action, to be honest. And one thing that I remembered is that you can do a covered attack on those treasure fleets. So if I would be able to take out Cartagena or to sack Cartagena, I could automatically take over this treasure fleet, which is kind of considered to be anchoring here in the harbor. And then I would basically get the same, this token for free. I don't, don't gain the full reward. I don't gain the swagger, but I would be allowed to gain a treasure card. So in this case, I really might consider doing this. And one thing I have to mention that I had a little bit of chaos in my basement here. So some of the components may be a little bit out of order. I really tried to rearrange everything as it was, checking out the footage several times. So if you see something that's somewhat different, I'm not cheating here. This was really all an accident.
So I think let's go after Katarina here. So we have still five movement points if I'm not mistaken. So let's spend one more to sail down here. So right now we are still totally fine. I will spend my next movement point to scout Katarina. So let's see what we find here in Katarina. And okay, ah, wow. Well, that's actually very good. That's a small village. Three swagger, one reputation token. And hey, we have to get to draw a chaos card as a reward. And it's not that tough to beat. Um, we still have our crew card. We have our ship token. So we need five plus five or four strike fear. And I think we should have enough cards and symbols in order to sack Cartagena. Of course, we have to win the initiative die first, but I think, yeah, let's take a risk. Let's spend one more movement point to move into Cartagena. If we are now rolling poorly, then we really have a serious problem, but let's find out. And I really want to see a hit here. It's a hit. Wow, that's so awesome. Okay, we get to attack first. First, we need five plus five or a four strike fear. I think we cannot generate four strike fear, which is really kind of a pity, but it should be still enough to take out Katarina. So we have to power the advanced effect of the cut him to pieces here. So we have plus two long range, plus three close quarters. We will use our ship in order to produce two more long range. So we have four plus three here. Then we use our X Royal Navy crew card and those cards really you can use them throughout your turn. This was also a discussion on the geek right now and with Tom that I really didn't get that right. So you can pretty much use them several times during your turn until you really um, decide to defend with him. Then he will be really removed from the game. So that's really helpful in this case. So that's two more plus two more. So three, five plus six long range definitely good enough to sack Cartagena here which is really great we get our reputation token back what's more important we gain one two three more swagger but of course for now we can place our pirate marker here into Cartagena now we have three of those tokens on the board if we would get two more we could get another ship and this would then be a naval ship and those are usually really way more powerful than the standard ships so yeah that's definitely something we may try to get at and yeah as we are now in the starting territory of a treasure fleet and there is a treasure fleet present and we just sacked Cartagena we can do a covert attack on this treasure ship here so we will sack it automatically this is how I understand the rules we don't get the swagger but we get to draw our very first treasure card how cool is that and those cards are one time use only but look how powerful those guys is this hot shots either gives you six long range and five reputation or one strike fear plus seven reputation this is really insane but yeah absolutely cool and I believe this doesn't count towards my hand size, if I'm not mistaken. But keep in mind, once used, it's removed from the game entirely. I can still use this one time, once per, per turn ability here, like this movement point. Um, again, this is really once per turn. All the other icons I can really use more than once per turn. If I would ever fight twice, then this extra Royal Navy would fight twice with me, which is definitely a good thing. So we can upgrade our movement track here. So we still have three more movement points, but actually I only have one more real card left. My token is gone for this turn. I can flip it during my next turn. And I still have my rest card here. That's a cool card I could use during combat, but I think I want to put stuff back onto my draw deck in order to have something more to do for my next turn. So I think let's rest. We don't have to end our turn, but hmm, I don't know. Why not do that right now? So this lets us shuffle up pretty much. We gain two random cards from our discard pile. We put it on top of our pirate draw deck, which is now basically consisting of only those two cards. But at least we get something to do for the next turn. And as we're ending our turn, why not? We can reveal. We still have three more movement points, but oh, maybe 
One, two, three. No, I think we will spend our last remaining movement points because we can come closer to the action here to the east. So I think I will move one, two. Ah, no, it's not enough. It's not enough. We have to sail out one, two, and three to Curaçao. But still, yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. One, two, and three. Let's be brave for once. And this now really ends our turn. Or I decide to end my turn. And now we get to see what cards we redraw. Fire in the hole, which is cool. Strike your colors. That's a re-roll. Definitely also not too bad. So I think for this round, I could still try to go for one more ship if I'm kind of lucky. Then we move over to the next turn. So we will draw the cards for the pirate dummy player in this case. We would roll the tiding style. That's two. So he will discard two of those cards. There are still four left. So I think, again, time shouldn't be an issue, I guess. Of course, one thing I forgot, as we have rested, we can also reactivate our ship token here. And then we can roll for our tidings. That's the white lookout. Okay, that's a lookout we can evade from. And I think in this case, one, two, three spaces, that's clearly the naval ship here. Luckily, the pirate hunter is up here. So he would need one, two, three, four movement points. It's close. But in this case, we are okay. So this naval ship will now move to us. And again, we have to make a choice if we want to evade. This time I will not forget, we have to spend one movement point in order to evade, or if you want to engage this guy. Let's have a look, closer look at our cards again. And if we're rolling lucky, we may be able to do that because he's asking for seven close quarters. We have five alone here and whatever. This is also bringing two to the table, so overall, definitely possible on the other hand yeah if he hits first then we are toast but i think let's go for it let's roll the die and it's a hit <laughs> down you go and yeah so we can choose nine long range seven close quarters and we don't even need to spend a card here so we can use our token that's five close quarters and two more here how cool is that and yeah, as soon as you really get some crew cards and your first ship, things will, are really looking differently. And yeah, so this guy is down. We get five swagger and two reputation. Awesome. So we are moving up to 29, if I'm not mistaken. And here are our two reputation. We still have our full movement of three for this turn. We have pretty much all the cards we've just drawn. So yeah, I think let's carry on so let's move into what is it caracas area here down there let's flip this token this is another another pirate four five or two with three swagger yeah let's fight him don't have a choice anyway again it's a hit Whoa. i'm on fire i think this die is really on my side awesome so yeah Four long range, five close quarters, or two strike fear. The token is now spent for this turn. This is really important. And huh, I can generate two strike fear here. Do I get to four? Uh, it's pretty much the same. I could spend some reputation and save some cards. I think this is kind of tempting. We need only one. So if we go for this, we don't need to spend a card. Let's go for the strike fear. So I will activate my Royal Navy officer. I will spend one reputation token for that in order to generate two strike fear. Yeah, this is enough to sink this pirate worth three swagger. So we are moving from 29 to 32, coming closer to level four here. Wow, never thought about this, to be honest. Yeah, we still have two more movement points. So let's move in here, La Blanquilla. Let's see what we get, another merchant. Yeah, I take it. Let's roll the die, a critical miss. Okay, now we are in trouble. I have a re-roll in theory, but therefore I need to spend a reputation token. So I could activate the striker colors here with a reputation token. I get to re-roll 
and then I could also use the long range of that effect because here it's a plus and this is really one of the situations where you can really um, use the card more than just once in a combat round let's put it like this because this is really something which you do once so you can do it and then this is something which you can still use for your attack or for your defense phase in this case on the other hand i could simply go for reputation to pay for my critical miss but then i still would have to defend and i think i don't want to do that I want to spend one reputation to use the power up effect of the striker colors. I will go for the left hand side here, of course. And this allows me to reroll this die. <laughs> okay, this hurts. This hurts. I don't have any more rerolls, so this time I really have to take a hit. I was really too ambitious here, I think. And yeah, now we really have to do something. So I could now again discard one card. I could spend one reputation or take a wound. The problem is I still need to defend and they would attack me with five long range. Of course I could flee. Still I have to pay the, the price for the mid critical miss. That's definitely done. This card is always already played so I cannot discard this card. So I could for example discard this card and then try to flee for example. And right now I'm tempted to do that, to be honest. And yeah, I will do that. So this is the price I will pay for my critical miss. So I will discard this card. Then I announce I want to flee. So I'm looking for a hit here and it's a miss. But this miss is now the two plus that counts as a hit. Cool. So I get to evade for free. And you know, now I'm really running out of cards. So hmm. I think let's move into safety somewhere. But the problem is there are no pirate or neutral havens around. So yeah. Hmm. So I will evade into this area here. So this guy stays where he is. This was really bad. I was fighting like crazy against those naval ships and now this bloody merchant comes around comes along and I still have one more movement point and yeah why not let's use it to move into Curaçao and I think then I will end my turn. I'm out of cards I still have my ex-royal navy officer here and I my pirate deck is empty they're all in discard pile I have not rested uh, I theory I could still do that but maybe for the next turn but I think I will call it around then. And I think this will flip back to the other side if I'm not mistaken. I think I get this after each rest or when I start a new turn. Then we move over to the dummy player. Let's roll his die. That's a one. So he's only discarding one card. So we still have round or turns like crazy. And uh, But still we have to roll our tidings die first. That's a plus two. Okay, we get five movement points and I think it may be a good idea to scout some more, to be honest. So let's move with one point into Santo Domingo. Then we would spend another movement point in order to scout there. And again, that's a relatively easy village here. And as I've just seen the rewards, I think I forgot to draw my chaos card. Wow. That's not good. So I think, yeah, I will trigger it now for sure. So I will not get off the hook here. But in this case, it's something nice. I, I, in mercy's name, find us some fish bait. Give this card to the active player. That's me. If you sink any ship during this turn, choose three discarded cards to shuffle back into your pirate deck and discard this chaos card. Otherwise, discard this chaos card at the end of your turn. If you sink any ship, so if we would sink a ship now, we gain three cards back and I think we still have two more turns after this. So we could really use those. That's now really tempting. Um, it's really a pity I forgot this because I may have sunk, sunk a ship. Maybe not. But phew, let's, let's think about this. And that's really tempting because... We have still three movement points. I think it's even four because our ex-Royal Navy has not provided his movement point this turn. So I could go really one, two, three and try it again. Hmm. I have my token. I have my Royal Navy again. If those guys go first, then I will lose a lot of cards, to be honest. 
on the other hand let's go for it one two three movement points i still have one left because of the royal navy guy here this is pretty much a once per turn ability and then we get to roll our initiative die and it's a hit okay that's cool that's so cool okay this guy is toast and we get three swagger or one reputation i will go for the swagger of course first of all we have to come up with four close quarters so i will spend my ship again this gives me one two three more swagger and i think finally i get to understand this game to be honest and i think this could be the sixth yep yeah the sixth merchant ship so we will draw a new naval ship and spawn it in a random territory so let's see where this guy goes into the santiago area and i think he's placed phase up so here we have a french naval ship next to our raided city of santiago here cool but this also means if you sink any ship during this turn which we just did choose three discarded cards to shuffle back into your pile how cool is that? So let's give our discard pile a huge shuffle and we can still take another turn after this. Wow, things finally got interesting, cool stuff. So here are our three cards. And I think with our remaining movement point, we will move into La Blanquilla here. End of turn, we still get to draw up to five cards, but we only have three in our discard pile and that's not bad at all. Again, we have our rest card bag. <laughs> that's cool. But using this will really end our turn and this will then really give the dummy player time to end the round. But wow, what a great hand. I still have my hot shots here. Okay, I can definitely do some more serious damage, maybe this round, but most certainly next round. Okay, let's draw a card. And yeah, depending on what we roll. Okay, that's three cards. So we have two more turns now because next turn he will take the last card from his deck and then he will announce the end of round. So it's this turn and next turn. So wow definitely a lot to do still but first of all let's roll our tiding die that's a three okay again we get six movement points it's seven because of our ex-royal navy officer but actually i'm thinking of using my rest card again because this would bring two cards back into my pirate deck and then i could draw up to five cards and then I could really have one glorious, maybe last turn of this round or so. Yeah, let's go for it. So let's spend this card. Then we would draw two cards. This will automatically end our turn, but this is really fine. So we can directly draw those cards. Improvised shot, cool. And Blackbeard Smoke, that's also great. Plus two, plus three, wow. Okay, this will be an interesting next turn, I guess. So let's simply draw our last card. We would roll the die, but it doesn't really matter. He's went through his deck. Next, uh, next turn, he will um, announce end of round. So we have to roll as well. Okay, that's another chaos card. So this turn, we have three movement points. Again, it's three minus one plus one because of our officer. But we get to see our next chaos card. And I guess this is actually a bad one. Surely some changing times ahead the sea. She can be a friend, but now is a foe. Storms ahead hit hard. Utility boats and raiding crafts are lost at sea. You lose your, yours in the storm. The active player loses two movement points during this turn. So we just went down from three to one. And this is, yeah, this sucks <laughs> for sure. Because this, this just lets me move out of La Blanquilla here and oof, isn't worth anything. Should I take the risk? I still have one final turn and I think we should be good. Hmm. No, I will not move out because um, only bad things can happen, to be honest. And I think I really want to do something meaningful with my uh, last turn. So, yeah over to the dummy player he announces end of round we will do our very last turn this round and oh 
Okay, that was close. Good that I didn't move out because it would have mean I would have to fight a neighbor. Maybe not the worst thing in the world, but still, I really want to do stuff. So I have four movement points again because of my naval officer. And I guess I want to go after Santo Domingo here. So it's one. No, that's not enough. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, gosh. Of course, I could take a risk. One, scout here, two. And if this is bad, we could still move here and at least go for the ship. But then, wow, I have so cool cards and not enough movement points. Yeah, but still, what can I do? Um, let's move out with Mon. We will scout here in Tobago, which you couldn't see, I guess. Okay, what did we find? Okay, well, okay, that's something different. 12 plus 11. Oh, it's difficult, but in theory, we could try this. Man, look at this reward. Seven swagger, one reputation, one elite pirate card. Wow, really tempted. But this would really cost me dearly. I think I could do it. So attacking is fine, but if I have to defend, then I'm out of luck. But I think I want to risk it, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's move in here. Let's roll this die and this could be pretty much ah oh, this is really ah let's let's go for it. Yeah it's a hit it's a hit it's a hit awesome awesome we get to attack first wow okay so we need 12 long range uh, 11 close quarters or 10 strike fear i think the strike fear is out of question is it yeah i think it is so let's let's do that the old-fashioned way no i think this is good enough so we will spend this here that's six long range then we use the mahogany belaying pins that's eight ten and twelve we use the latter effect here so we have produced the 12 long range we already have two five six Close quarters as well, though those are pluses. Keep that in mind. Again, two, five, six. We still need five more. So let's simply spend this guy here. So this is enough. We have produced perfectly enough combat symbols. And wow, look at this. This is so cool. We get seven swagger, one card, a uh, one token and one pirate card. Unfortunately, it's the end of the round. So we cannot use it this round or turn anymore. And because we spend the hot shots, we gain five reputation plus the one we got from that fortress and wow this gives us six more reputation we are back in business baby this card is removed from the game kind of a pity but it really served us well so we just gained seven more swagger one two three four five six seven so we leveled into level four this means we gain two elite pirate cards -hoo -hoo -hoo, and we are rolling pretty much a success on this miss with a four plus here as well. How cool is that? So in total, we just got three more cards for the next and last round. That's so cool. Let's have a look at those three cards. So the final round will be pretty cool, to be honest. Hail shot chase guns and superior navigation i think i will have a closer look at those cards when i actually draw those the video is already taking quite some time let's remove this token and replace it with our token here the rules say if you play your first game you're not triggering this to um land token twice but i think hmm, why not let's go for it so let's bring out our next pirate hunter who goes into Cartagena. Oh wow, he's right around our corner. Uh, he will be placed face down. That's definitely a risk. Oh yeah, that's definitely a risk. But so far so good, I guess. We still have one more movement point left, but I think I will call it a turn and also a round in this case. So let's do the final end of round preparation. So we will shuffle all our cards. We will spawn two more ship tokens. The first will be a naval ship because we already have enough pirate hunters out on the board. This goes to Leeward Islands, also not too far from us, I guess. No. So who do we have here? A French naval ship. 
think that's something we can live with. The next ship is basically a standard ship, but this could also be a naval ship. Keep that in mind. This goes to Bath. What is it? It's another pirate. Oh, wow. That's a cool pirate. I want to hunt him down. And this guy goes up here next to the treasure fleet token up there. Hmm, how cool is that? I think that's pretty much it. We didn't have any, normally we would also check on those cards. Oh no, if there are any um, pirate tokens there, so from, from whatever cities you sack, but in this case, this wasn't the case. So we can skip this and then I think we should be go good to go to move into round three final round of the game and yeah i really hope you are still enjoying my little playthrough of the pirate republic here i'm still not 100 percent sure if i'm playing this game 100 percent correctly but captain tom will let me know that's for sure it's been a great help so far and yeah i hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then bye bye